Okay, okay, Mardan. So we'll start with your uh, brief introduction. Okay, my name is Vardhan Nair. I come from a family of four, and I recently graduated from Amity University with a B.Sc. in clinical psychology. It is an honors degree, and I also while si- while doing that, I simultaneously completed a minor degree in English literature. So this is all. You don't want to add other things. What else can I add on top of this? One? So you can you can uh, add some family details and. i can talk about your interest and oh isi mein sir hobbies oh huh? sir isi mein you can just talk, talk to everything about whatever you want to include in that introduction so if okay. you want just that part of uh, introduction of yours for us or you are limiting your introduction for me so we don't want okay. you to let know about you so better oh, okay. include some other details also okay i'll restart then okay okay My name is Vardhan Nair. I come from a family of four. My father is uh, he works in the service industry, and my mother runs a small business. And my sister is in the eighth standard currently. Uh, I recently completed. I recently graduated from Amity University, Mumbai, uh, with a, a degree in psychology. It was a B.Sc. degree, uh, honors. And while doing that, I simultaneously completed a minor degree in English literature. Uh, aside from the educational details i mostly uh, i i enjoy uh, reading and writing uh, mostly i write prose and a form of japanese poetry called haiku and i also enjoy cooking and occasionally playing video games okay so vardhan uh, can you give me the brief of uh, how the psychology as a subject evolved like like when we started finding or, or started keeping this as a separate subject and what was the major in a uh, uh, breakthrough that we got in psychology and how it it came into uh, the mainstream education as a degree program right so i think that the evolution of psychology is very interesting as a subject uh, mainly because it's not as old as some of the uh, other subjects that we see um, on the uh, on, on offer as a degree program for example the natural sciences and all these things have been uh, have been uh, in human civilization since the ancient greek times however if you look at psychology it actually goes side by side in science uh, some of the theories in psychology go back to ancient greece as well so psychology the study of humans in a society has always kind of been there as a subject for uh, great thinkers of our civilization but more importantly i think that psychology evolved as a subject and was truly um regarded as a social science or a science when we started adopting the scientific method for research which is conducting research with uh, statistics and using actual data uh, otherwise psychology was just considered a part of uh, philosophy <clears throat> uh, but then when we started using data when we started conducting um, scientific and systematic uh, experiments on human behavior i think that is when psychology sort of started evolving and uh, no doubt the the workings of freud and uh, jung these were very influential in bringing psychology to the forefront that is into the mainstream and uh, then people started accepting the subject more and now we've come to a point where it's not only uh, offered as a degree program but it's also one of the more important op- occupations that finds its way into every sort of uh, or- uh, organization like hr and uh, behavioral analytics stuff okay, like that uh, just a second i'll, I'll start again okay uh, uh, the, sorry for the interruption uh, so the next question for you is avatan uh, uh, so you have uh, rightly explained all the applications of psychology as well right psychology in itself as a subject but it can also as an auxiliary subject to other subjects also or other stream also so 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 what's your agenda about this subject or or, or uh, while when you are trying to come here as to study i mean society and culture how much uh, matlab how much psychology will be keeping with you <clears throat> i think that i would still like to be uh, very involved with psychology since i have been studying it for the past 4 uh, to 5 years now actually since 12th grade um i am actually very invested in psychology however that is not my main focus here uh, i am using this degree to get a clear view of what i want to do in my life 
so i already know that my career path is going to be is leading towards going into research academia um so i want to figure out what i want to teach my students i want to figure out my area of expertise uh, and that isn't necessarily bound by psychology but uh, one of the research interests that i have recently acquired is of the social unconscious and that is a lit- that is that bought that uh, which is the gap between psychology pure psychology and sort of a sociology and uh, social psychology mixture so it's a mix of all these three topics that i would like to mainly pursue in this degree okay so so coming to your uh, research interest and work interest ahead so what advantages do you get or what advantages you see that uh, society and nation or even the humanities can get from uh, this particular uh, engagement of uh, sociology and psychology my particular research that is like my research not only really your resource the entire stream that will evolve later because you just said that uh, there is uh, it hasn't been explored much so hmm. so you you will be the starter or frontier of the research so what future do you see ahead i think that establishing an understanding of uh, how a society influences human beings that is basically the uh, the fundamental of what i'm trying to do i'm trying to study how a society can influence the people that live in it and if we understand that then mainly it is for exploring the uh, uh, mainly my research is focused around exploring the human mind right and i want to broaden our understanding of it. and if i can add another layer to this understanding then i think that my goal would have been reached but society can also be impacted by this because if if citizens are aware of how society influences them then they can make wiser choices based not based on uh, group dynamics or peer pressure as they like to call it also this research could help chart a data base for how society changes over the years how the indian society is now wasn't the same as when it, when my grandparents were 22 or 23 my age basically uh, and if we can chart an understanding as to what has caused this change in india independence and globalization and western culture all these things have uh, sort of made a new era of indians right and if we can correctly pinpoint and and start back to it then i think that will be very important for us to create a legacy as a country okay at least so so vardhan uh, the the recent uh, development that we are seeing in uh, worldwide seeing worldwide like like uh, a simple virus has uh, stalled the entire world's economic uh, processes or economic activities and uh, even as in countries the, the countries where have been locked uh, for the all the activities you know and 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 since then we are evolving in some other way and there are a lot many uh, lags which are still there and uh, which will be there for the next few years so so what my question is that uh, at this point of time where our concerns are much much bigger than uh, rather than understanding basic understanding of human mind and and uh, relating it to psychology and sociology so do you think that uh, the research the subject the uh, attempts to explore more uh, about mind human mind and the social concerns uh, is important right now or should we focus our research area on other things which are more important for uh, economy more important for the population right now or the for world right now i definitely understand the sentiment behind the question but i i would disagree with this there have been researches about um uh, there have been researches about human behavior and testing during world war 1 and 2 um the army alpha and army army beta tests were developed by the us at the time of war although they were used to uh, recruit the so- soldiers into army it can be said that there was no need for testing uh, a soldier's mental capabilities during a, a war time effort but uh, my point is that just because the research isn't relevant to the social scenario in the current decade or the current um, year doesn't mean that uh, future inhabitants of this planet wouldn't benefit from an understanding of it um for example uh, 
my i think my point is that there are all and there are already uh, very qualified and knowledgeable individuals working on that uh, on topics like this anyway uh, so i'm i'm certain that when it comes to sociology and psychology there is always a need to study the human mind because we are mainly focused with humanity we are mainly focused as society so and even this covid uh, pandemic has definitely impacted human society only so to study it and to study how we have evolved is very important to us so that we can look back at it and draw inferences from it okay so 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 do you uh, read or do you go through research papers that are being published uh, in the same subject or in the same uh, research area that that you are trying to go through i have established a foundational knowledge of it of course um, okay. so can we uh, can, you, of, can you tell me about any of the research paper that you have studied and and which you think that can act as a very foundational foundational uh, knowledge or that research can act as backbone of your research sure there are a few papers by individuals uh, that make sense to me as a foundational because they give me they gave me an introduction to the subject so for example uh, folks gave a research paper in 1976 discussing a social unconscious although he didn't really elaborate on it further and then uh, a few individuals like uh, dalal came forward and they uh, he put a paper forward and uh, there was also an individual i'll have to uh, memorize their names before i go into the interview but i know their last names because the research uh, it shows in the research but i also think that uh, dalal and brown these two individuals and the research that they had conducted was uh, very instrumental in understanding or giving me a definition as to what this topic was okay so how do you believe that uh, at iit gandhinagar you will be getting that uh, environment or platform where you can actually flourish with your result so so do you think that our courses or our in uh, curriculum matches with your Uh, subject choice or uh, research choice yes i uh, one I, i think that this degree is perfect for individual like me because i wish to um, i wish to f- uh, further enhance my research skills i already had a research background where i had completed a dissertation and i had completed uh, an individual research paper as well uh, but this degree i think will help me uh, profoundly improve the way that i research and the way that i view the world around me mainly because it is um, it is declared on the website itself that it is a research degree so that caught my attention first of all and then secondly the multi, uh, the interdisciplinary approach i think will let me look at a situation from a multitude of uh, ex, uh, opinions and uh, uh, contexts so for example look i could look at the psychological aspects of a, of an economic phenomena right for example how the world was impacted psychologically uh when the 2008 uh, stock market recession happened um or i could study the economic impact of a psychological phenomenon for example how the market as a whole or how commodities were sort of uh, you know, the importance of commodities or in, was interchanged when panic buying happened during the pandemic people started pan- panic buying a lot what was the economic um uh, consequence of that i think that this degree and the subjects that it covers would give me uh, a a holistic view as uh, to any subject that i tackle okay so last question for you were done uh, what is uh, gestalt psychology gestalt psychology is a school of psychology that sort of branched away from uh, uh, other uh, schools and they sought to establish these principles of uh, gestalt um where they gave uh, different principles as to how the human mind views things so for example um, i forgot the uh, gestalt uh, principles but i'll have to revise them but okay. yeah so so you need to go through the psychology subject once you know to yeah. just to see what are the major results what were the major uh, topics was okay so matlab the the interview was good you know um, i'll uh, give you feedback like uh, you need to put some more theories and uh, some more names in it like like since you have been uh, preparing the application form or trying to uh, fill the application form 
so you must have prepared the synopsis of your research area or, or uh, so, so you must have got through the different research papers so you need to remember yeah. those names and otherwise it was good there was no uh, lag but sometimes i felt that uh, it's a, more of expression and it's less of the work uh, underneath so so okay. you know ha to matlab ye thoda feel hona chahiye ki aapne kaam zyada kiya hai aur expressions bhi hai so hmm. expression wise application wise objective wise it was very good uh, underneath jo kuch kaam hona chahiye na wo thoda aur hona chahiye theek hai okay iske alawa hmm. baaki sab theek hai your aha introduction part mein na dekho matlab you you should not limit your introduction uh, to your education and uh, degree only so so you should talk about where you from and in what family you have been uh, growing up or what did you study and what did you do after studies okay you know, what are your curricular Achha, so the inter- internship and uh, extra curricular i should of I course those also matlab any internship or extra curricular activity which has significant impact on your personality you must tell that and okay, not because i had uh, i had worked at career development see matlab like like okay. I, if i have uh, done five internship but just one of them was such which actually grew my interest or which actually helped me to build my personality like this so i'll definitely tell about that internship or or any project that i have done in my graduation which was uh, which was which which i i feel that it's very significant in term of how it helped in my knowledge base or in my uh, uh, wisdom so i'll i'll definitely tell about that project also. well it's not like going to each and everything that you have done but all the major things that is around you okay ye aapko bolna hota hai theek hai